CNN President Jeff Zucker has resigned from his post after it was discovered that he had engaged in a romantic relationship with a colleague. Now, that can be a tricky situation, especially if there's an issue with the power dynamic. Got to be honest, there's something missing from this story. That's my speculation, but here's what we know so far. There is not an imbalance of power in this relationship. Apparently, this had to do with him failing to disclose the romantic relationship with management. As part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, he writes, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today. Uh, okay, uh, who was the person he was in a romantic relationship with? Now, if it was an associate producer or if it was someone who reports to him, there is that power dynamic. I would say that that relationship is wrong and it shouldn't be happening. But that is not the case in this story. So Zucker was referring to Allison Gallist. CNN's executive vice president and chief marketing officer, and one of the highest ranking leaders of the network who is closely involved in major business and communications decisions. She said in a statement, by the way, she's still employed, she's not resigning. She said in a statement that she is gonna remain in her executive role. She says, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID, I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. I'm incredibly proud of my time at CNN and look forward to continuing the great work we do every day. Mm -hmm. They're both divorced, there's no extramarital stuff going on. They're both executives at CNN. I just don't- They're both of age. They're both of age. Like, there either is something that we don't know about happening behind the scenes and that, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I'm speculating here or this is just, Weird and nonsense. I and yeah, well, personal stuff aside, I don't like like Zucker is awful and CNN is I think under his leadership garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to be clear about that. But I'm putting that bias aside to just focus laser focus on this particular issue. They're two consenting adults. They both are executives. Why does management even need to know about it? Like it's weird. I think it's creepy that management needs well, to know I, about it. I, theoretically, it's company policy and they're executives who probably have quite a bit of control over what that policy is. They gotta be bound by it as much as anyone else, no, especially it. if they're setting the terms it. of the policy. If that's the policy, that's the policy. I'm just uh, questioning like the policy applying to these types of situations. Are they better than us because they're higher up in the company? No, I'm, look, the reason why HR would want to know about relationships or romances in mm -hmm. the office is because if there is an imbalance of power in that relationship, it could be considered coercive. Is there not? I mean, she's an executive, he's a CEO. Is that still not? I mean, she's very high, but he's still higher. I don't know, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, just for playing devil's advocate, he is still higher than her. Sure. I I don't know. There's there's clearly something else. I mean, they're very much I feel like saying that it's about the disclosure and when it happened is a red herring. Mm -hmm. Even the way that they word it. Like in her statement, she's like, uh, you know, I regret we regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. But you didn't disclose it. They found it while they were investigating stuff. Stop pretending like you were gonna get around to it eventually. You hadn't disclosed it. And again, I don't even know that that does that justify the CEO stepping down? And if it did, why would it not justify her stepping down too? Exactly. The fact that There's it's only missing. him. There's something we don't know. There is something we don't know. Like, look, Jeffrey Tubin still works at CNN. Mm -hmm. Like, just put it all in context. There's something we don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't like, disclose that he was masturbating at the right time. Oh my God. I don't know what that time would be, but he didn't disclose. I just. He did just. I'm not going to finish the sentence. Anyway, by the way, he didn't disclose. Avoid having relationships in the workplace. Yep. Okay, like avoid it like it's the plague. It is not a good idea in, a, in any circumstance. Mm -hmm. It's just a bad idea. Like it's where you work, it's where you make your money. Don't get into a romantic relationship if you can help it. It's always a I, bad idea. Yeah, I, I suspect that that is not what this is about. Although again, it's pure speculation and most more importantly, I don't care at all about yeah. him or his personal life or whatever. I think CNN was hot garbage 
in no small part because of him. He certainly made it worse. Mm -hmm. And there's been tons of profiles of him about how intentional some of the changes to the format of shows were and his desire to turn it more into the sorts of debate shows that happen on ESPN and all of that stuff. All horrible decisions that did immeasurable harm to America and helped ease the path of politicians like Donald Trump to getting in power. But I also don't think that post him, CNN's gonna be great. No, of course not, of course not. I mean, they're gonna look for another Zucker type person to fill that role. Right now, there's like a coalition of executives who are you mm -hmm. know, filling that role until they find a replacement. And, and you're right, overall, it, I don't care. But I do wanna be on the record saying that there's more to this story that we do not know about right now. I agree. And I just want to be able to brag in the future when that information comes out and I can say I was right. So yes, and there you, you, you were on the record before me, so you get <laughs> premacy. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.